Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. Here we share beginner friendly coding tutorials on Scratch, Roblox, Minecraft, web programming, and many more. Today we're going to create a wallet app using App Inventor. So let's get started. Okay, so first I'm going to show you what the app looks like. This app is going to uh, take your budget of shopping budget and then you just put it in the ad budget and then you can go to wallet. And in here you can add in your shopping list. So put in your items and your price and, and the price of that item. So let's say I have to buy meat for $20 and I have to buy candles for five and then just click add to list and then I'll have to buy uh, snacks for another $10. Okay, and you'll see here that uh, the app gives us how much money, how much budget we have left. So this video is the first part of the project. I'm, in this video, we're going to go over the designing part only. Okay, we'll start by adding a new project in App Inventor, and we'll name our project My Wallet. All right, and then click on my wallet, the one that we just created. Okay, so we're going to design the first screen. So drag in two items from user interface, drag in a label and drag in a button from the same section. So a button and a label, all right. Okay, now we want to change the size, the font size for both of them. I'm going to put 30 for and 20 for the other one. Okay. This one, and we are going to rename it so that it's to be the app, the name of the app. So my wallet. Okay. And also change the width to no parent. Okay. And text alignment. We can also change the color by clicking on background color. I want mine to be yellow and I want to change the text color too, just here and then click on white. Wait, that's not good. Okay, orange instead. Okay, this is much better. And for the bottom one, uh, this button is going to allow us access to the wallet. So for this button, we'll change it to go to wallet and change the width to fill parent also. Okay. And you can change the design as you want. I'm going to make my font bold and I'm going to change the background color to be blue and change the text color. I want it to be white. Okay, so this is what it looks like. Okay, next we're going to add in an option where user can add in their budget. So go to layout and then find horizontal arrangement, drag it, and then we're going to change the width to be filled parent and the height, let's make it 50 pixels. Okay. Uh, now we want to go to user interface again and then drag in a label and drag in another text box, uh, text box. Okay. Now for the label, we want it to say, for the label, we want it to say, add a budget. Okay. And let's make it big so we can see it clearly. Okay, 20. This one also, maybe. all right. Now let's make it center. So go to horizontal arrangement and this one will change the components inside this horizontal arrangement to be the center. So vertical and center like this. Okay. Now we want to change the name of the components in our screen. 
So for this label one, I'll just say label add name. We have to change it so that uh, when we code, it's easy to know it's more organized. And for the button, button wallet. For this label, label budget. And for this one, I'm going to name it text box budget. Now we want to make our app more uh, user friendly. So we're going to add in a background, but we want the background to just appear over in this space over here. Okay, so we're going to do that by going to layout and drag in the horizontal arrangement block and then click on horizontal arrangement. We're going to change the height and the width to fill parent, just like so. Okay, now go to user interface and then drag in an image component here. And then we'll change it to, as for the image, we also want it to be in the middle. So, Go to horizontal arrangement and then put it in the center and center. All right. Now, when you want to put an image inside it, click on the image first and then click on the picture. See? And then click on upload file, choose file. And then on here, you can just go find where you save your pictures. So I'm going to use this background. Okay. Okay. Here. Okay, just like so. So that's it for our first screen. And for this screen, don't forget to click on screen one and then change the title to be from screen one, change it to budget. Okay, so now we're done with the screen. We're going to add in another screen. So click on add screen. We're going to name the screen shopping list. So this is where we're going to be putting our shopping list in. Okay. So next, drag in a horizontal arrangement block here. Okay. And then click on horizontal arrangement and change the width to be fill parent. And now go on to user interface. We want to drag a label and another label. So this, this part right here is going to show us the budget we have left. So click on the label one and change the text to be budget. And, for, and then change the font size also. And for the label two, we'll just make it zero for now. So go to text and then zero. All right, don't forget to change the font size. And remember you can design the uh, components, the colors as you want. I'm going to change the background color to be orange. And I want the text to be white, just like so. Next, we'll be designing the part where uh, the user can put in their item and the price of that item. So go to horizontal arrangement and then click on horizontal arrangement and make the width fill parent. Okay. And go to user interface and then we'll put in a label and a text box. We want to change the text box width to be 100 pixels because we have to fit in two of them. Okay, and then do the same thing for the 
price and text box change the width to be 100 pixels okay now click on text uh, label tree and then change the text to be item for the font i just want 20 and do the same for the other one so this one will name it price Font size will be 20. Okay. And I want everything to be in the center. So click on horizontal arrangement and then center and center. Okay. Next, we'll add a button to the bottom of this uh, item and price block. Button. This button will add the item and price that we just put in. So rename it to be add item to list. Okay. And then the font will be 20. Change the width to be fill parent. Okay. And remember, you can design as you want. Okay, so this is what I did. Okay, next we're going to drag in the part where uh, it tells us the amount of budget we have left. So drag in the horizontal arrangement and two labels. So two labels, one here and another one here. Okay, and then change the name of the text to be, I still, have and for the right label we'll name we'll change the text to be uh the zero i still have dollar sign okay now change the font size Also make it fill parent for the horizontal arrangement and center and center. Okay. Okay, that's good. Okay, so now we want to add in the part where it shows the list of the items we actually added. So go to layout and then drag in a horizontal arrangement block and then put it above horizontal arrangement tree. All right, so it looks like this. Now go to user interface and then drag in two list views. Okay, so for our first list view, we want to change the width to be 210 pixels. And then we're gonna drag in another. And we're going to make this one 100 pixels. Okay. Horizontal arrangement. And then go to horizontal arrangement. We want to change the height to be fill parent and the width to also be fill parent. Okay. Now for list view, we want both of them to be the height to be both fill parent. Fill parent. Okay. Okay. Now, lastly, search for a notifier. Notifier. And then drag it to the screen. This one will be the non-visible component in our project. And now we're done with our designing part of the project. So here's the screen one and here is screen two. All right. So that's all for today. Hope you liked this video. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and like our videos. Also check out these two videos over here while you're waiting for the next one. So that's all for today. Thank you. Bye-bye.